Hello, I'm Krista Klis. I live in a small village in Greece. Uh, I am affiliated with uh, Biodiversity GR, um, an organization in Greece about uh, monitoring uh, the wildlife in Greece. Uh, today I'm here to talk to you about the manuscript that has been published which the title is Using Security Cameras, Doorbell Cameras and Trap Cameras to Monitor the Behavior of the Wild Boar, Sea Scrofa in Liri, Southeast Billion, Greece. What you need to know of the Wild Boar, Sea Scrofa, is that it is least concerned in the Red Eye, Hughes and Least, is a medium to large sized terrestrial mammal, usually it's from 100 to 100 at 80 centimeters in length and it's very heavy animal sometimes can uh, over it can be over 250 kilos uh, the terrain population is from 0 0.01 to 43 animals per square kilometer and that means uh, when there are a lot of wild boars in one area can cause a variety of damage to agriculture and forest areas. But uh, in Greece is different because we don't have official uh, data. In this map you can see that um, uh, the estimated of uh, wild boars are coming from uh, hunting organizations and Lately, because of this increase of the wild boar population, Greek government in 2021 has reached a plan of decrease the wild boar population. That means the methods to, to decrease wild boar population is only by hunting. Uh, but this is not allowed to do it in cities and villages, in residential areas. In, because it's not allowed to shoot about 500 meters away from the last house that there is uh, in one area. That means they need to scare them away from cities or cats and release them back in the forest, the wild boars. And uh, to do that, there is no monitoring on population on our residential areas. And the only information we have is by hunting organization or newspaper releases, but the problem with hunting organizations is that they ask more, they want to shoot every wild boar and other protected species, and they try to put some pressure in the government. So there is a conflict between hunters and anti hunters, and that doesn't help a lot of. Uh, in wild boar management and uh, there is no reason no research about how much the population of the wild boar has increased or decreased in some areas there are only estimations um, with this new research we know what is working and what is not we have tried uh, in the field and we give the opportunity to every citizen and every home to be able to monitor their own backyards and farms near their homes and be informed immediately when wild boars approach uh, because smart doorbells and security cameras have their own apps for phones so when the motion is enabled, motion is enabled even at dark they have a, a notification of their phones that means they are uh, affordable for everyone also, with this research, we know that to scare the boars, the wild boars away, if they are damaging the crops without killing them or scare, it, or scare them, because we use these devices to scare the wild boars away, even uh, using our voice through to voice communication they have, or alarms, and to know if the wild boars are not damaging anything that means we need to monitor the behavior and learn about the behavior of the animal of the wild boars so we know if they rooting 
and uh, don't uh, damage them to anything. You can leave them in fish or if they are splashing in water hole, you can leave them without scare them. But what device should I use? It's the most common question. Because that depends on what are your requirements. You need to learn what are the negatives and the positives of each device you will use and see if they are suit you. For example, smart doorbell with cameras, they are very good, they are cheap, mm -hmm. uh, mostly of them are less than 100 euros. Uh, one positive thing is they don't need to ring the bell, they have IR, IR motion which is about 15 to 20 meters and uh, the most uh, newest uh, doorbells uh, can recognize the animals through humans so you can have uh, the settings set up as you want if you want to be informed of the wild animals you can do it or not that means also for the security cameras which is much better than suggested because um, on the security cameras we can have live feed of 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 days per year um, and not other devices can have this both smart doorbell and security cameras are very good because they are waterproof can be connected to uh, a wire line as you can see on this image you can see the cable under the smart doorbell and you can have um, motion you can have a notification on your phone when something approaches the camera so you know if you want to need to act or not uh, but with trap camera is much more difficult because you need to change the batteries you can hold up to four months it depends of course on the camera and your SD cam, your SD card, your and your batteries. But also the uh, the positive thing of trap camera is that you need that you can move it around as you want. But the most negative thing is that you need to remove your SD card to check uh, what uh, animals have been approached and to monitor and analyze the wildlife the wild world behavior it will be much more difficult what we monitor monitor the behavior of wild boars is necessary before act if we know the correct behavior of the wild boars what they do and what not we can know what if they increase have a significant increase in mineral soil if they can keep clean our forests near villages and uh, they can decrease damage caused to crops and to humans properties because they do a lot of damages um, also they have um, the security cameras have alarms can have alarms that it depends on the blood and they can scare away the wild boars or the alarm or we can talk through the two voice system and scare them uh, scare the wild boars more calmly than they shoot it in the air which in that way they are panicked and they destroy everything on their way um, this manuscript is unique and this research because no one worldwide have previously used smart doorbell security cameras to record wild boars at least nothing has been published until now these cheap uh, devices are accessible and affordable from everyone so uh, everyone can protect uh, their crops and their houses and can be used for in the future much better for to have better conservation and management for wild boars especially in residential areas thank you for watching don't hesitate to ask any question you may have about the paper or the research and the methods that have been used to this research. Thank you very much.